Hello children, take out this Cambridge Connection book, English book. Take out page number 51, we will learn this poem today, The Growing River by Rodney Bennett. We have heard that children grow. When you were a child, you, have, you were very small and now you have grown big. How? By drinking milk, complan, eating fruits, vegetables. Then we have heard trees, plants grow into big trees. But have you heard a river growing? How does a river grow? It does not grow tall. Here we will see the river grows broad. Here we see high mountains there. High mountains. And they are full of snow. In the snow, the river starts from here. And it is very small. It is very small. Slowly this river becomes broad. It becomes broad. And falls into the sea. So here the river is growing. It is a small river. Slowly it becomes broad and here the river meets the sea, falls into the sea. Now let's read the poem. The Growing River by Rodney Bennett. The Growing River by Rodney Bennett. At first the river is very small. So when the river is starting from high up in the mountains, it is very small and can't float anything at all. It cannot float anything because it is very small. But later as its journeys on, it's large enough to float a swan. A swan starts flowing. See, two swans are floating. It grows till it can safely float a slim canoe and then a boat. What is a canoe? A canoe means a narrow boat. Maybe one or two seats. So it is a narrow boat. Narrow boat. Slim canoe and then a boat. After a canoe, the river becomes broader. As it's flowing, coming down, it is become, becoming broader. So here a boat starts flowing and later still as like as not it manages to flow a jot. It manages to float a jot. Jot. It is pronounced as jot. What is a jot? It is a boat with a sail. It is a boat with a sail. Sail. And presently when really large it takes a steamer. Steamer is a boat which moves with the help of steam power. Steam. Smoke is coming out. Then a barge. What is a barge? Barge is a boat, a flat boat which carries things. Which carries things from one place to another. And at last it passes busy keys. Busy keys. What are keys? Where ships come and stand and things are brought down, again taken up, loaded and unloaded. Where ships stand here. Okay. And floats great ships to foreign seas. It goes to ships, goes to foreign seas. Again I am reading this poem. At first the river is very small and can't float anything at all. It is very small, cannot float anything. But later as it journeys on, it's large enough to float a swan. Swan is the name of a bird. It's float. It grows till it can safely float a slim canoe. Canoe is a narrow boat with one or two seats. And then a boat. The river is becoming broad here. And later still as like as not, it manages to float a jot. A jot is a boat with a sail. With a sail here. This is called a sail. And presently when really large, it takes a steamer. Steamer is a boat which runs with the help of steam power. Then a barge. Barge is a flat boat which carries things. It is a big one. Big boat. And last it passes busy keys. Keys are the places where platforms, where ships stand. And things are loaded, taken down and put up. And at last it passes busy keys and floats 
great ships to foreign seas and the sh now the river comes and falls into the sea and these seas go to the foreign the ships go to the foreign lands now mark the difficult words children rivers float anything journeys enough swan slim cano manages jot presently really steamer barge passes busy keys ships foreign seas underline these words children name of the poet rodney bennett name of the poet rodney bennett underline this This is how the river grows it becomes broad